What is up my fellow collectors? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining me on another PSA video. So today is a PSA returns, specifically my EX series PSA returns. The one I was really looking forward to the most and maybe that's the reason why I was ended up a little bit disappointed with it. So we'll get into the cards in a little bit. We'll go over the numbers a little bit, uh, the planning and the process and things like that in the first few minutes. So um, this returns cost me around $3,200 for all of the cards raw. Most expensive card was $260 and overall it was about $560 for the grading services. So in total, I spent around $3,700 to $3,800. It has an estimated uh, value of about $16,000 to $18,000. So after the fees and things like that, it's over a $10,000 profit. So first and foremost, I'm very grateful for picking these things up strategically early on and the profit. I added two cards to the collection and we'll get into that when they happen. But yeah, five PSA 10s, uh, 32 cards that were 8.5 and below and the rest were nines. So this is the point where I mentioned in my other videos where it's kind of like a, a circle, almost a water wheel. You got to first put in some effort to get it started. And by the time it comes full circle, you know, we were in this pandemic for a year. I had no way of predicting that, but by basically submitting cards every month or every two months and doing, you know, multiple um, submissions within each PSA send off, I was able to get to the point where now all these cards are coming back. And I put in that work and I sacrificed and saved and, and, and tried not to spend too much money, kind of easy with the pandemic. But doing that, I now have all these cards coming back. And like I said here, you know, I'm getting my original money back along with the profit. I can now go and buy the cards that I need for the collection. So this is the point where it's all starting to come back and, and I put in that work and that momentum is now with me and I can go forward and I'm not just using my income, I'm using the income that's coming from the cards and that's helping me to make these purchases. So this submission overall, I'm happy for the profit, but there's been some issues with it and I'll talk about that with some of the cards as we get into it because I'm kind of not happy with the way PSA seems to be handling some of the cards. Some of these are clearly PSA's fault. Some of them could be mine from overlooking it and maybe thinking that I got the card, I know what I'm doing, and it's a PSA 10 or 9. So on that note, let's talk about another disappointing thing. Um, besides my childhood, this was a lot less disappointing. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I have a dark sense of humor. And speaking of dark things, let's get into some dark Pokemon. We have uh, Rockets Persian. It's a PSA 7. And Hitmonchan, another disappointing thing. If I can get in here and show the scratches. I mean, just the sheer amount of scratches on these cards. It's easier to see in person, but you can just see it's littered with scratches across the surface. And quite a few cards are actually with that. It almost looks like they were played cards, like they were pressed down. And my only thing that I can guess is that when you see PSA cards come back that they weren't put into a slab because they didn't meet the minimum grade or they were altered or they just don't grade it, you'll see that the cards come back in a uh, card saver with a little uh, label, a sticker, let's get into some other cards, and the cards are not, they don't have a penny sleeve. And so in my opinion, putting that card in and out of the card saver without a penny sleeve has a chance to cause some abrasion. So if you see on the back of certain cards, there's some white marks or some edge there like that. Let's see what the card is this. It's Kyogre 8.5. This is another issue. There's a big card in here that was damaged, but some of these cards I don't recall having this lip and it seems to be kind of common on here. Like it gets caught in the, in the pressing um, when they seal it. But yeah, it's, it's just disappointing to see some of the way that the cards have been handled and there's a lot of scratches and obvious damage as well but yeah that that issue to me seems like it could either exacerbate make worse any of the issues that PSA has or the cards have because it's pressing up against the cards the card saver and that's not a smooth um, 
it's not as smooth of a plastic as the penny sleeve. And so that penny sleeve really helps it slide in there without really causing any damage, without any scratching. Who knows what dust or, or dirt may be on the inside of that. And that rubbing against that hard plastic could cause these to get scratched. So that's just a, a guess of mine. I do plan to do a little, kind of like a little study with it where I plan to take those cards and put them in and out of card savers. Have a few other people do it a certain amount of time and take pictures before and afterwards to see what those cards, and I might even send them to CGC just to see the grade before and afterwards with the surface. So that way we know since PSA doesn't do subgrades. Speaking of cards that PSA, I'm highly certain PSA damaged this one. So as you can see, this is a PSA 9. The surface is fine. The, the edges you see up there on that top, that is crimped right there on that edge right there it's pushed down on both sides I don't know how that happened and I don't know I really don't believe that I would honestly have sent off a card like that that to me makes absolutely zero sense that I would have sent off a card in that condition to PSA but yeah that is some wicked damage it's folded over and pulled back like it's almost peeling and so the fact that this card has a PSA 9 I don't understand how it's a PSA 9 um, unless it was graded a PSA 9 and then in the process of transporting it or taking it out or sealing it in the case, it was damaged. So there's a few times where cards have um, sort of issues on the edge where that little lip is right there where it seals it. So yeah, I, you know, it is what it is. Some of these cards have a lot of scratches and then other cards are clean. I just I don't really understand what happened with this order, but at the end of the day, uh, ooh, nice swirl right there. And I don't know if that's another swirl. I am making a good profit, and I'm buying cards that I need for the collection, and I'm buying cards to flip as well. So I'm happy for that. I'm adding a lot of cards to the collection, and a lot of um, damage to the cases like this. Uh, besides that, the only other thing that really bothered me with the submission was that PSA had my order all scrambled around when they sent it back to me. Normally it's in order of the list, but I sent off about 10 sets and I, and I order them, you know, from whatever set, one, two, three, four, all the way down to 10 for the EX series I sent off, not from every set, but most of them. And they were all in order of the set. So if I had 10 cards from Team Market Returns, they were all right next to each other. But with the cards and the way they return, I got them back where it was like a card from set one, from set five, from set 10, like, and then mixed in. And then there was like three or four cards out of the 10 that were from set four. And they were all mixed up and all, all turned around. I don't know what happened with that, what was going on. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It was just a complete mess. Some damage on the cases, damage on the cards, a lot more issues than I was aware of beforehand. And I, I you know, I don't know just it is what it is and i've switched my strategy to grading the exs and gold stars with cgc first and then if they get a 9.5 or higher i will try to cross them over to psa that's just that's my plan at this point i really don't trust psa to handle my higher end cards in the lower levels in the higher levels psa seems to handle the cards that i have fine but I just don't feel like paying $300 a card to grade when these cards themselves are worth two to 300. It just, it makes absolutely zero sense for me to grade these cards bulk or at the higher end, just because the cards aren't worth it since I'm trying to flip them. And PSA is really, really tough with the PSA 10s at this point. And yeah, I just, it doesn't make sense for me to send off certain cards with PSA. There, are the, If I had higher end cards, I probably would send them to PSA instead of CGC. But um, that's just where I'm at right now with the this submission. So hopefully it's not too much of a Debbie Downer with the uh, the complaining. But just those are some of the things that I noticed with this PSA returns in, in, in general. And from now, it's just... Again, what was it that uh, SM Pratt said? Adapt or die. So if this is the issue, then you know I just have to make a, a change to my strategy and 
just move forward. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, On to these cards. I've already sold probably five to $6,000 worth of these cards by the time you'll see them. I got a lot of um, offers and questions about it when I posted it on Instagram, which is another good thing. You know, I'm not too good with social media. Uh, I've been watching too many Rocky films. I almost said I'm not too smart with like almost felt like I was talking like him. Um, yeah, so uh, having social media really helps because you can get sales there directly quicker. You're reaching another audience. People may not want to buy and pay those high taxes from from PSA or uh, from eBay. So yeah, having social media really helps and helps me find cards as well. Um, I think I already mentioned it previously in my EX purchase video, but somebody uh, told me about EX series master sets. There was somebody who had like 10 or 12 of them and getting that tip from them. I gave them, you know, some money for telling me about it. They didn't ask anything, but you know, pay somebody if they're helping you out and giving you a tip. Um, you give them a tip in return. Make sure it's the monetary kind, though. Um, sometimes people don't like the other one. <laughs> uh, these four cards here did sell. I'm not going to mention who, but I got around $1,000 per card. Or not per card. Uh, if you could get $1,000 per PSA 9, you must be doing something really well. Um, man, you could probably sell... Uh, what was that saying? You could sell... You could sell something like water to a horse. I don't know. There's... Too many sayings and I don't remember. But yeah, basically in total these sold for nearly a thousand dollars. And that's that's a really good price, honestly. Eight seven fifty per card to get graded. About a thirty, forty dollar cost on average. So, you know, cost me about a hundred to hundred and twenty five, or probably hundred twenty five to hundred fifty. Sold it for a thousand. That's a good profit right there. Uh, here are some cards that I'm gonna regrade, but with CGC. So this one was one of the cards that I was really hoping would get a PSA 10. Overall, it looks good. Let's set that down nice. So the corners and the edges look really good. I think the only issue, I think the centering would be 9.5, um, is I think there's just one or two scratches. So I think that's the only reason why this didn't get a PSA 10. So I'm, I'm planning to send it in graded, not going to crack it out of the case, and sending this one in graded as well to CGC in hopes of getting a PSA 10 uh, later. But this is one where I did notice that there was the issue with the print line across from here and the missing of this right here. So that print sort of... Uh, you can see this right here where you can see the print right there and it's going through. So I don't know if it's missing some sort of texture or ink, but that's kind of what's going on there. But the card on the back is basically flawless. I don't see any whites on any corners and I just see the print line. It does come from here and go across. So, you know, that would be a nine, 9.5 at best. It's, it's kind of hard to see just because it goes through the card. And it goes right through the, the character as well. So that that's one that I'm going to resend as well. So Moltres here is the last card that I'm going to regrade. I think this is clean and has a good shot at a PSA or a CGC 9.5. Which I think CGC 9.5s will actually go up in value quite a bit. Just because getting PSA 10s will be harder. And... Finding them will be tough just because so many people are, are jumping on the EX train now. So let's go through these a little faster and get to the good stuff. Kingra. Ooh, Dust Gloves. Well, card I definitely need in a PSA 10. Reggie Rock. And Reggie Steel. So EX Emerald's a tough one to grade. Overall, I think the highest pop in there is 25, and the lowest is 8 with Milotic. Yeah, it's just a set that had a lot of centering issues with it, and also wasn't very popular. So I don't think the cards got cared for quite that much. Farfetch'd, box topper there. Regice. Raichu here, another very low pop. I think this is pop 14 and goes for around, I'd say 2,000 in a PSA 10. 
I think the last few sold have been 1750 and I think 1500. All right, and let's get into the big cards here. So one more pile to go after this. So Lugia from Unseen Forces got a PSA 9. Two PSA 9s, a CGC and a, well, CGC and a PSA 9 did sell for $1,000 on PWCC. I don't see any scratches on it, but the thing that held it back was the corners here. I knew that was going to be an issue on this card. I can't see too many scratches just because of the dark background, but this is a awesome card. Paid $200 for it, and it's selling for about $1,000 to $1,200 depending on the sale. Uh, I have seen it fluctuate quite a bit. Or not, I've seen fluctuations between 1000 to 1200 in the last two months, but overall the card is up quite a bit. And I think there was a buyout attempt a while back where the card was sitting at 500 and then it bumped all the way up to 1500 Now it's sitting at 1000 So this was one of the bigger disappointments. This card has a ton of scratches. Very difficult to see with the background. But yeah, the back seems fine. But the surface is absolutely trash. So, disappointed with this one. I have a long history with this card. I bought one from King Pokemon years ago. It arrived in the mailbox from the delivery, but it got stolen. So, um, yeah, I've always had difficulty finding Espeon. Here's another one. I think this one was about 75 bucks, And this is probably about $500 right here. So... Awesome card, really excited. Probably the best artwork of Unseen Fort, or not just Unseen Forces, but the whole EX series. So just the way the foiling is on this one it reminds me of like Shining Mew from uh, the Japanese, from the Japanese sets, and uh, kind of the crystals from the Japanese sets as well. They kind of have this light. Uh, almost like a dust sparkle kind of covering on it above the hollow pattern itself. So it's like a double pattern, like a double rainbow. Um, yeah, so I just, I love that card, it's awesome. And here is another card. Wasn't expecting a 10 on this one. Knew this one was a little weak, but 8.5, paid about $200, so probably get four or 500 for it. Really awesome card. And let's do a few more. So we got Politoed and Tyranitar. So Politoed looks about right compared to the grades, but this one was one card that I really have no idea. The scratches on it, yeah, they're there. On the back as well, I just, there's a little waviness to it that might be a, a crease. But honestly, I, I really can't tell why this card got it. There's, the whole front is gloss, uh, kind of like frosty. And yeah, I really haven't been able to find it yet as far as the reason why it got a PSA 6 so that's that and let's get into the PSA 10 so if you stuck around this long um, boogie woogie to you and if you want leave it in the comments so PSA 10s now uh, five some big ones here we got Team Rockets Suicune a really awesome card the back is really flawless and the only thing was there was like a scratch here and overall very happy with this one ended up selling it to a good friend for a card and cash and then here's another one this is a low pop I believe this is 37 or 38 it's a, it's a pretty low pop for Team Rocket Returns so yeah really awesome quality is good and here is a card that I added to my personal collection for Alligator, I opened this from one of those Team Rocket, uh, not Team Rocket, EX Master Collections. The only thing that is an issue is right there. It's like this got pushed up here and it's folded in the same way that the, the Scyther was. And so it's peeled back. And so I have a hard time imagining that that would be acceptable because as you can see, it's not just on the edge, but it's also on the surface. So to me, if you have an issue that's on the surface or the edge or the corner, and it's just on that, that is okay in my opinion for a PSA 10 because it's isolated. It would be like you have uh, a 9.5. But then if it carries over into another area, a corner to an edge, then both get dropped because it's on both, in my opinion at least. And that 
shouldn't be a PSA 10, but I will add it to the collection for now. And another Articuno EX. So pretty happy about this one. I think I picked this up for like 35 bucks. Goes for about 600, 800. This is my, this is like my fourth or fifth PSA 10 Articuno over the years. And we'll end this off with some garbage. Got muck here. PSA 10. I think I won uh, the rest of the EX Dragon Carts from somebody on eBay prior to sending these out. And I wasn't sure if I was going to win those cards or if I was even going to send them out to PSA. But uh, this card alone makes that purchase worth it. And I added another card to the EX collection. So overall, I'm very happy that I made a large profit on it. And with that, I'm able to pick up a very rare EX set so i am picking up a set in its entirety in psa 10 i will hopefully show that off here in the coming month or two but if you guys stay till the end i thank you i appreciate all of you guys that participate in the videos send me comments links or memes some of you guys send me some weird stuff so i enjoy it i enjoy interacting with all of you so if you guys enjoyed this returns enjoyed my rambling and some of my um things that i said give it a thumbs up if you like the content that's here, subscribe, and as always, thank you guys for joining. Until the next one, peace.